editor's keys Final Cut shortcut keyboard was designed specifically with the Apple Final Cut user in mind. To begin this review, let's take a look at the box that the keyboard comes in. Okay, so on the outside we learn some simple information. The keyboard comes with a 3 year warranty, um, it's supposedly used by over 30,000 editors worldwide, and they claim that you can edit up to 40 times faster with this keyboard. Flip the box over and we find some more information. The keyboard is wired, powered by a USB port on your computer, though with the keyboard you gain two USB ports that are on the keyboard. The keyboard will work with all releases of Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Express. You must have Mac OS X 10.3 or higher, and if need be, you can use it for your PC. On the other side of the box, we just find some simple pictures showing you the keyboard, showing you how thin it is, and that it's a wired USB keyboard. Looking at the keyboard itself, the first thing that's going to jet out at you is the fact that some of the keys are different colors. Obviously, this is because it's a shortcut keyboard. The purpose of that would be, for example, instead of having to move your mouse over to grab the cropping tool, you just hit Command C and you grab the cropping tool. All keys that are related to one another are in the same color, so in my example, the cropping tool is with all of the other tools and those are pink. This way you won't get mixed up. Now you might be thinking that this sounds like it's a tool for the novice, something that's new to Final Cut, but that's where you're wrong. It's actually good for both the novice and the advanced user. One, it looks really professional, if, for example if you were in an office. And then also, the layout is optimized for Final Cut, and in general it's good for reference. We're going to flip the keyboard over and we're going to take a look at what's on the bottom. Okay, so as you see here, you have one USB port on the one side, and you have the other USB port on the other side. These are on the support bar that gives your keyboard a slight angle so that it makes it easier for typing. You'll also notice that on this bar and on the other side of the keyboard, you have a total of four rubber grip tapes. This is going to help grab your table or your desk so that your keyboard doesn't slip around. Back to the top, in comparison with the Bluetooth Apple keyboard, the obvious difference is that the Editor's Keys keyboard has a number pad, but besides that, there's a few things that I noticed that I didn't like and things that I did like. On the shortcut keyboard, you're going to be using Command a lot, and the thing that I didn't like about it was that the Command button was about half the size of the Command button on the standard Apple keyboard. Also, the location didn't feel as comfortable. That just didn't make sense to me. The second thing was the dashboard button. If you use the dashboard button a lot like me, the first thing you'll notice is that the dashboard button is all the way over on the right hand side on the editor's keys keyboard. That's just something that you'd have to get used to though. Something that I did like though was what happens when you hit caps lock. Instead of a green light, there's now a yellow light on top of the keyboard. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up for my review of the Editor's Keys Final Cut Shortcut Keyboard. If you'd like to see our review of the Editor's Keys SL150 microphone, there's an annotation on the screen or a link in the description. As a side note, if you have any questions about this keyboard, I'd be happy to answer them if you leave them in the comments of this video. This has been Fred for Tag Media Network, and as always, thanks for watching.